I think it was Dreamer who called me and was like, yeah, we're going to, you're going to be uh, Stevie's girlfriend. And I was like, okay. And I knew, I knew I, I was down the shore. I think I was down the shore because we had like a shore house. Lovely. My family. Great place yeah. to be. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so I went on the boardwalk and I went to one of those airbrushing places and I got like Love Stevie's those. name. Down. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so ridiculous. I, I remember telling them I needed really short shorts and I needed like, um, gosh, I, I, I had, I had like three or four pair of them and I let like Stevie Richards on one. Um, I might've got babe on one sweet cheeks on one. I don't remember, but I got all these different sayings and I would just alternate the shorts. Um, cause I wanted, I thought I should match him and be like him. Now, are you prepared? Are you get, are they giving you bullet points? Are they telling you this is what yeah, we oh, want yeah. you to do? Yeah. Like how, Cause you're going to be doing, it's an, it's an outside the ring around the aisle interview, Joey styles, Raven, Stevie. So like, what, is, what, is, what's Paul telling you backstage? Paul, before? I, I just remember Paul kept saying the word babe, babe, that's going to be <laughs> you babe. And I'm just like, okay. Um, because you, you know, remember this is the first time I'm ever speaking in front of a live crowd. I'm shitting my pants. I'm <laughs> shitting my short shorts. Let's put it that way. Um, very intimidating, very scared. Uh, I was, and I'm thinking to myself, it's not one or two words. Like it was a couple lines. So I just kept going over and over and over in my head. Um, and I was scared. I was really scared. I was scared to do it, but you know, and I think it shows I, I'm very timid when I deliver my line. Oh, we're going to see it in just I a minute. Think, the, I mean, yeah. I'm just like, a, <laughs> uh, this whole thing is cringeworthy. I hate it. But what well, was the last time you saw this? Oh God. I have, I don't watch okay. it because I hate All it right. so much. Now, two little factoids about Hardcore Heaven, uh, 1995. Okay. The final ECW appearance before leaving for the franchise. This was Shane's exit was this night. Oh, was it? See, I didn't yeah. even know that. Okay. So Shane Shane leaves, but yeah. in ECW's timeline, this also marks the debut of the Dudleys. Oh. Hardcore Heaven See, Now, you have to remember this as well. I was working for them for a year and a half prior to this. Right. I was doing house shows. This is just a, you know, Paul said, okay, we're going to start to use you for like TV. But they, I mean, they had me as Tommy's partner a couple times in mixed tags. Like I was, I was all over the place doing stuff. Yeah. But this was the first time, like I was going to be on television, like with this angle with Stevie. So, um, and it, and was, that, it was exciting. <laughs> and that night it was Raven and Stevie versus Tommy, uh, Raven and Stevie with Beulah defeating the team of Tommy dreamer and Luna Vasha. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's how, you know, Luna's a tough, gal that she's the tag team partner against raven uh, so, yeah exactly <laughs> luna was so, great by the way she was so super nice now jojo says to you as he hands you the microphone <laughs> jojo <laughs> says you start talking and he says speak up so yeah. was that nerves that you were just kind of hold holding back or, yeah, or I, did they tell you to be loud or is it just no, the building that was loud i think the building was just loud and and he couldn't hear me because i had if you noticed, I had all these guys like hovered over me as I was like trying to talk. Yeah, and we, it was, we could see. <laughs> yeah, it was it was hard for me to hear things as well. So I, you know, Joey just wanted everybody in the building to hear what I had to say. So. Now I I went back just as you're talking, and I I just want to pinpoint this one moment. Of, of course, you know, we got you to do. we got to hear you. You know, like you know, you, you love your sweet cheeks. You're so happy to to see him. And, you know, but this is where the transformation occurred, and that <laughs> so is where face. the queen Woo! finally came out. This is where you kid that that is a natural resting bitch face right there. I'm telling you, I, th I think I created it, and the duck lips. I think it's all me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. Now, if, if your kids see this face, do they run in the other direction? Do they? they do, no, they run when I say their whole name. When you put the middle name in there, that's when they know they're in trouble. So when your husband sees this face, is that, does he run in the other direction? He, he walks away. He just walks away. Yeah. So then, so then, the, you know, great. so hardcore heaven's over. So you go to the back. So what? What are they saying to you? We're going. This is where we're they, going no, next. They, Paul was very happy, very excited, very excited about the crowd. Crowd. Look, anytime you have two 
girls rolling around on top of each other, you're going to get a response, right? That place went nuts because there was a buildup. Paul knew how to build things up. And for months, I was the girl in the crowd and we were teasing, teasing, teasing. And then we finally touch each other and they just erupted, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and Paul, brilliant. He knew exactly what to give the people and that's what the people wanted. So when we came to the back, he was so thrilled and he's just, you know, I, I knew there was more to come with this. Um, yeah. And you know, the, the big match is, is approaching and, Okay. <laughs> well, just to give it context is how ECW really changed the game with all that stuff. WCW was doing the Dungeon of Doom at this point with supernatural characters trying to end Hulkamania. Oh. And the WWF was bringing in the dentist. They were bringing in the teacher. They had the they had garbage the man. They had the plumber. Gimmicks, so yeah. it just goes to show you where ECW did change the way the television was put together because this is what we got when we saw EC. Well, we had to order the video <laughs> yeah. to, to see the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, sex sells, we all know that. Um, and, and I said the other, the other day when I did bust it open, I we were talking about um, dreamer was saying like how he commends us women because there were times when, uh, you know, we would be in a building and it would be 20 below because there was no heat. But when it was our turn, we would drop our, our robes or our coats and we'd be in nothing. And and I'm just like, damn, I cringe when I look at these videos. Those outfits were horrendous. And he's like, it was the times. It was the 90s. You girls were hot, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, right. you look back and you say to yourself, what was I thinking? I always judge, you know, I think everybody's critical on themselves. But for me, I... Did I have any shame back then when it came to like outfits and stuff? Like I had some doozies, but yeah, like he said, it was it was the business, and I felt that there was a need for that kind of thing. So, um, and we gotta know. just we gotta close out on one more image. Look at that that point. I'm telling you, and I know this she's is a after bitch. the this is after the line that was delivered by Beulah that really did just sound contradictory. It it <laughs> just made you... it made her look like a giant slag. It, it, she's a giant <laughs> whore and and i'm just this innocent little girl who hasn't been with anyone so um shame on you Buell mcgill cuddy you you just you just wrecked yourself <laughs> i didn't even have Steve, to do it she wrecked herself stevie is just i don't know how you could keep a straight face when he's he's doing all I that stuff you know, he's so funny I can't, I can't even see stevie at this point when we're doing our deal and he's jumping around like a buffoon. I can't, I haven't seen any of this. Like I saw it when it aired and it cracked me up. But at the time, you're so focused on what you need to do, you know? And then you have the big pull apart where there's 80 guys grabbing at you and trying to, <laughs> it's just a big cluster. It's such a mess, but it worked. It worked and people loved it. How about this guy right there? How about he's so miserable? You can tell he's just like this is the <laughs> shit. He hated it. And, that, the, uh, the Raven face is also a resting bitch face. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he was happy to be with the company, but I think he just thought that this segment was shit. <laughs> um, but you know, it 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 got me on the map, and uh, it started. I think one of the best female feuds ever yeah. in wrestling, in my opinion. Whatever.